Is there one good story you guys can share from that tour for those of us who were there and those of us who were not? Should I, should I tell them the, the bar story with Liam? Sure. Yeah. Is there any other kind of bar story with Liam? I know, well, we were in Toronto on a night off and we all went out for a big dinner, both bands. And someone had arranged this this bar was closed or something. So someone had arranged for like a party for the band. And, and you know, so there were a bunch of people there, and but both bands were there. And, uh, and we were having a great time. And the bathroom went down these steep stairs. And then there was like a little foyer and then the men's and the, the gents and the ladies. And I go down there and uh, Liam's standing down there. And he, he sees me and he says, he goes, look, you. Yeah, he goes, you might be, you might be the fucking white Bob Marley, but I'm the fucking king of England, man. I'm the fucking king of England, you see. And I go, I got it, I got it. He's like, so if you come to fucking England, man, and there's anything you fucking need, you fucking ask the king of England, man, because I'm the fucking king. And I'm like, all right, all right. And we're standing by the bathrooms and this girl walks down and he looks and he goes, oh, fuck it, I'm the king of England. I can shag her tonight. And I go, all right, well, King of England. He goes, yeah. And I go, before you do, you got toilet paper on your heel. And he had walked out of the bathroom with some shit toilet paper on his shoe. He's like, oh, fucking hell. You know, it was good. <laughs> oh, you got to love that guy. He really is. I, I, I mean, I love both of them. And they're a great band. You know what I mean? Like, that's what, again, <clears throat> we, we've, we've moved into an epoch of, like, no one has... Everything is so close to the chest, even if you're just being cheeky and funny, you know, um, that you don't say anything or have opinions like you used to. I mean, that used to be part of the reason you liked a band is because they weren't like that. They, you know, they weren't a corporate band. You know, they didn't like do what everyone told them to do. And I think Oasis represents that, you know, now it's a generational thing because young people wouldn't even understand, not, not all of them, but they wouldn't even understand the sort of uh, that attitude, you know, anti-authority, you know, just for the sake of it, you know what I mean? Um, and Oasis had that, you know, I mean, they're, they're still doing it. People in England, I think, get it more. Yeah. <laughs>